Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging problems, where we are going to simplify today x power 7 plus x power 8 plus x power 9 plus x power 10 plus x power 11 if x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 given to us. So let's get started. I will demonstrate two methods. First method is using purely algebra. I will consider the given quadratic equation equal to 0. We can check if x is 0 is the solution. So no. So what I am going to do, I will divide this equation by x as x is non-zero. So this will give us x square, that means x plus 1 plus 1 by x is equal to 0. In other words, I will take 1 to the right hand side. I can write x plus 1 by x is minus 1. All right. Now what we have to find out? We have to find out this expression value. This value. So I will do the same thing. I will divide this whole expression with the central term x power 9. So let me divide x power 9, x power 9, x power 9. As you can see, x is not solution of the quadratic equation. So I can divide x is non-zero. What we will get? 1 over x square plus 1 over x plus 1 plus x plus x square. This value we have to find out. I will club first and last term. So I can write in this manner x square plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 over x plus 1. This value we have to find out. Okay. Now see x plus 1 over x. We know that it is minus 1. So I will take a square both sides. So let me write here x plus 1 over x whole square. So that would be minus 1 whole square. Which is 1. Let's expand this. a square plus b square plus 2ab. So I will write x and Okay, let me write here equal to 1. Next step, I will take this 2 to the right. So, x square plus 1 over x square is 1 minus 2 minus 1 again. So, let us put the value here. Minus 1 plus minus 1. So, it is minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So, I can cancel. So our answer becomes negative 1. Alright. Now second method, second way of solving problem. So I will find out the algebraic identity first. What is that identity? I will write the formula first. x cube minus 1. What is the formula for that? a cube minus b cube. a minus b. Then a square minus so plus ab so i will write plus plus 1 formula is a cube minus b cube that is equal to a minus b a square plus ab plus b square this is our identity okay so what i will do you can see the second bracket is same quadratic equation so I will write that formula actually x square plus x plus 1 that would be equal to x cube minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Alright. Now this is given to us. This value is given to us 0. So what I will do? I will put this rational form x cube minus 1 over x minus 1 equal to 0. Because of denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be equal to 1. This is limitation. We cannot put x equal to 1. Okay. So conclusion would be our numerator it should be equal to 0. So from here we are getting one strong result. 
x cube equal to 1. This is we will use while simplifying this expression. Okay. Now our expression is x power 7 to x power 11 we have to sum up. What I will consider from the first three terms I will take x power 7 common. So I will be having 1 plus x plus x square. Done. From the last two terms I will take x power 9 common out. Why? It is purposely. See in bracket what we will left with x plus x square. So advantage is from the original equation, the quadratic one, we can write x plus x square negative 1. This is I wanted actually to use here. That's why I took x power 9 common out. Okay. So let's put the value here. So this value would be negative 1. As this value is 0, so this will come out x power 7 times 0 plus x power 9 times minus 1. So ultimately what we are getting x power 9 with negative sign and see minus of what is x power 9. So we can write x cube whole cube. Alright. So this value will come out negative of x power 3 is 1 as we have already calculated. So this will become 1 cube. This value will come out negative 1. Okay. Let's see the third way complex number also. If I will find out solution or root of this equation then I will be having x is equal to minus b apply quadratic formula plus minus a square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. I won't find out cube root of unity but same thing I will show you. This is a square root of negative 3 over 2. So I can write minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. If you recall while calculating cube root of unity we used to get minus half plus i root 3 over 2 and minus half minus i root 3 over 2. So these are basically the cube root of unity. Okay. So conclusion is directly come to the concluding point. It is we will apply 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0 and omega cube equal to 1. Directly you can apply. So let's put x is equal to omega. So what we will be having? Omega power 7 plus omega power 8 plus omega power 9 plus omega power 10 plus omega power 11. So what I will do? I will take omega power 7 common out in bracket 1 plus omega plus omega square. In this bracket I will write again omega power 9 common out. In bracket I will be having same way omega plus omega square. Now this term is 0. See it is given. Once you will put x equal to omega then it is same equation this equation. So here I will write 0. Here I will write from this term this value is negative. So first term is 0 omega 9. I will write omega cube whole cube times minus 1. Now omega cube is 1. So I will get 1 plus minus 1. This value is again. One more method is there that is using GP. We can find out. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye for now.